Welcome to the Sweet Stuff Web Watch. I'm your host, Stacey Reed, and in today's episode, we're going to treat ourselves to some of the web's smartest eye candy, sites that display data within some pretty cool interactive visualizations. So let's jump right in by visiting Videosphere. This sphere represents a network of high-quality video gathered from TED Talks and beyond, and these lines show how the videos are related to one another. You can choose to see these relationships or not over here in the visual controls. Users can interact with the ball in a number of ways by setting the sphere radius or by viewing it inside or outside of the sphere and you can take it full screen if you want as well. Then once you get it all set up the way you want it come on over here and click on info and then you can see some descriptions of the videos and their correlating tags. Next, let's hop on over to Dig Labs, where they provide a set of visualizations that break down their site's data in a variety of interesting ways. For instance, here we can see headlines from stories submitted to Dig by year, by month, by day, and even by hour. Now, clicking on one of the headlines is going to open up the Dig page in a new window. This is just one of their functional visualizations. We don't have time to cover them all in this video, but you'll definitely want to head on over to Dig Labs and check them all out for yourself. We Feel Fine is a site that defines itself as being an exploration of human emotion on a global scale. I'm going to launch the applet now, and while it loads I'll tell you a little bit about the site. It searches the newest blog entries from all over the world for occurrences of phrases like I feel and I'm feeling. It then records the full sentence and uh, a little bit of information about the author. For instance, you're going to get the age, gender, location, and sometimes even what the weather's like. Then it serves this information across six playful interfaces within this little applet. What may have been a seemingly insignificant sentence to the original blogger suddenly becomes significant as a part of the greater whole by providing insights and answers to questions that pertain to us all. For instance, who are happier, men or women? How does the weather affect our mood? Where are the happiest cities to live? I think the overall message we're meant to walk away with is that no matter what we're feeling at any particular moment, there are others out there who feel the exact same way. Up next is a site called Voyage. This visually displays RSS feeds on a timeline. You just come down here and enter in your URLs and then Voyage will display the aggregated headlines for you in an easy to use and slick little interface. You can use your mouse to scroll around or you can use your arrow keys and you can control the animated timeline by zooming in and out. Clicking on a headline will open a brief description and provide a source URL. This is a neat way to keep aggregated news, blogs, and updates from your favorite sources in one place. Finally, let's stop by Universe. This is a system of visualizations providing data and clusters, like constellations, where, upon closer investigation, we find that Universe is divided into different stages, each one presenting data extracted globally in a unique and relevant way. As I flip through a few, I'm going to read the words of founder Jonathan Harris with this elegant description. Universe does not suggest a single shared mythology. Instead, it provides a tool to explore many personal mythologies based on a chosen path of the viewer. Universe presents the most salient stories, statements, and snapshots as found in global news coverage from thousands of sources. Through this process of guided discovery, patterns start to emerge. Certain stories show up again and again, and they become our great sagas. Certain people start to shape the news, and they become our heroes and villains. Certain single words rise from the chatter, and they become our epic themes. Exploring information and gathering data can sometimes become a monotonous task, especially for creative minds and visual learners, but interactive sites like these can make the experience much more enjoyable, and thereby making the data displayed more interesting somehow. The beauty lies not only in the colors, shapes, and animation, but in the overall purpose and functionality as well. 
Stay tuned to Butterscotch.com because in the weeks to come, we'll be taking a look at more visualizations that harvest tweets, photos, music data, and the like. Just more sweet stuff that's sure to make your head spin. This is Stacy Reed signing out. Bye for now.